Okay, it did work. Hey you, this is Intimidating Scones. Welcome back to Minecraft. So a lot has happened and uh, I apologize for being gone for so long. And by that I mean gone from YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch, hi, I'm new. And uh, that's actually why I was gone for so long. My, uh, I, I had to um, just show this because live streamed. I think Minecraft actually sensed that I had uh, downloaded some Twitch apps because <laughs> that's just too coincidental. Uh, and while it was patching, it said something about Twitch. So let's get going. Um, but yeah, the reason I was gone, the reason wrong keyboard settings there we go um reason i'm back with twitch instead of um just playing youtube um my program that i was using to uh, do video capture and compress um well the the one program to do video capture and then the other program to compress, they just stopped really working. Um, I think they were kind of, one was very, um, I don't know, I don't want to say poorly programmed, so I'm going to say old. And the other one was just free and not free in the it's free so it better be competitive or it will never keep up way but more free in the we'll tack it on to something else and make people think they're getting a good deal way and I'm, I'm not a big fan of the latter so um, I decided I mean, I wanted to make a move to Twitch in the near future. I just decided to near up that future. <laughs> I'm always late to the game anyway. But, um, otherwise, what's been going on is I have been swamped with, um, with stories and, um, stories I'm writing and also um, getting my website yeah that's not gonna work now is it Getting my website going which it's just about I mean it's it's there it's launched people have found it already by just searching intimidating scones but um, it's not really launched launched because um, the feature story I'm going to be working on is uh, not really ready yet. So I'm giving myself one more weekend to get that going. So hopefully, hopefully soon, I don't know. Um, part of it is um, I made a horrible deal to um, continue writing on one story that I had previously given up on. How far down did I? No, that's about what I did on the other side, isn't it? Ugh, symmetry. This one story that I had pretty much given up on, I started redoing, and it turned out to be a lot of fun to write, so <laughs> now I just... I shouldn't have done that. I need to go down with it. I... I have too many things I'm working on. I'm I'm sure many of you can, you know, many of you know that feels. The only thing that really um, has me grumpy is that um, what made me switch so suddenly and um, 
everything from YouTube to Twitch was that the programs I was using, which let's be honest, I could have been using the programs I'm using now for YouTube. In fact, it's set up for both, which is why awesome. But uh, I lost something like four hours of content uh, because the um, compression program I was using um, hmm oh, no, that's not even what I meant to do at all that's not the right tool get it together the compression program I was using uh, started corrupting my videos and I was uh, saying I was angry isn't really descriptive because my anger takes so many virulent forms. All right, well, now I have a fantastic staircase that leads up and up into a beautiful bed and cactus. Well, that's a house. So the problem with that is I have no idea without like going back and watching, like spending hours watching all my own YouTube videos, which let's be honest, that sounds a little conceited just from the get go. But without doing that, I have no clue what I have now talked about and what I haven't because I have, let's be honest, maybe eight hours of content on YouTube anyway, and then I have four hours that didn't make it there. I just don't have memorized what I have said and what I haven't said. And I know there was a lot that I said, you know, for one thing, how I got to this place, that was a good talk but I'm not exactly sure what all I talked about there. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? God, I love this game. Um, and, you know, m most of the building of this and even, you know, going down into my mine, which is over in that direction, um, and getting diamond, there's a lot that was missed in this game because let's be honest, a lot can happen in four hours of Minecraft. And a lot can be talked about in four hours. <laughs> and so I'm just going to have to keep going forward. Um, and if anybody gets confused, just that's that's what the comment section is for. Um, although, sorry, Twitch, at the moment, I am not looking at the comments um, since I kind of figure I'm new there. Nobody's going to be in the comments anyway. I need to decide exactly how far out I want my walls. I don't need to be too terribly far, but it might be cool to be a little symmetrical with what's going on up there. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They don't need to be that far out, let's be honest. If I do it more like this, then I can use the stairs to hide things. I don't know how far. Huh? So, but mostly, um, no, but no, I have things. Um, mostly what I had um, planned for today was just to let you guys know what is happening and what my goals are, um, which we already did a video on that crap. Uh, all right, well, here's goals round two. Um, while I'm still looking to... Um, to talk on some pretty heavy subjects, um, and I'm not sure how Twitch is going to uh, respond to that. 
I don't think there's a whole lot of activism going on Twitch. It's pretty much just, you know, video games. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but other than that, um, whoop, you're not in the right spot. Um, I hope to start getting a lot more um, consistent with uploading as well as updating my website and having um, some consistent writings for people to enjoy. The main issue I have with making those promises is that uh, another part of the reason why I have been gone for so long is that I recently um, got offered an internship in um, one of my fields of study, which is medical coding. And if you know anything about the medical business or particularly the business side of medicine, you know that doesn't happen. People do not, they don't do um, medical coding internships. And so this opportunity is just um, incredibly exciting because I basically, um, it, it's such a uh, difficult field to break into that the idea of, um, oh, this person should probably be able to, you know, afford to eat while they get their education is kind of um, astounding. But that is the world we live in, and I am lucky enough to have said privilege. Barely. It's, it's going to be um, an interesting experiment in my um, budgeting capabilities, but they're actually going to pay me. So... The nice thing about medical coding is, um, you know, once once I do um, get through the internship and get that on my resume and all of that, um, I will have the hours of um, a crappy desk job while having a decent job and decent pay, etc. Which means I can come home, you know, after my eight hours of work and write and stream to you. So it's a good deal all around, win-win, but uh, starting that internship, it, it's probably going to be rough the first month while I get used to it. And I am going to have to dedicate some time on turning an internship into a full-time job. I mean, finding a full-time job for after my internship. I should lay some stairs down. Goodness. So, um, otherwise, you now it's good to be back. And let's see what happens. I don't know why I keep going to the uh, chest as if that's where I need. I keep acting like the chest is the crafting table. Yeah, once I get this wall up, I'm going to get things lit, get things growing. It's, it really... Minecraft, oh, this, that's one of the things I talked about. I talked about um, uh, efficiency in Minecraft versus uh, the real world. Um, but yeah, once I get things growing, because um, I'll be standing right above it. And when you're close to it, it ticks. So it will tick better while I'm building my house. Yeah, I have some wood. 
And I need to plant some trees because there wasn't a whole lot by way of trees in this area. Although I think there, there are some over that way. You can see a couple on the hill there, but I think there's actually a forest that way. I can't remember. Uh, how do you make a gate? How do I always forget these important things? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's new! Probably not new, it's just I've not tried to make a gate out of oak yet. It took them this long to implement different colors for their gates. Well, okay then. That's a thing. Torches. <laughs> Let's be honest. That looks nice. What? Oh no, it's it's symmetrical. It's fine. I'm bad at making things look good in Minecraft. I really just honestly am. Yeah, see like that. That looks that looks dumb. All right. So, and one of the things uh I thought I might chat about today um I know I'm I'm normally doing some really emotional stuff. Which, again, not sure how Twitch is going to respond to that. I'm going to get trolled the hell out of this place. That is really my, um, not so much my greatest fear, because how can it be a fear when it's an expectation? But my greatest, well, that would suck. Um, uh, eh. Who cares? So, um, but one of the interesting things was, so I've just sort of been doing some, what I've been calling casual activism, which, uh, trying to define what that is, that's, oh, that's the problem. Trying to define what that is is sort of an interesting beast. And now I... Eh. Eh. Because you can't put them that close together. Fine. Whatever. I'm going to have to light up the ground anyway. We'll do... Something like this. It's a centerpiece! Is it actually centered? Because that would be nice. I think it's actually centered between the two of them. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Um, all right, but I'm still going to go sleep because there's no point in having a ton of things spawn around me. Um, so people are always saying things like, don't feed the trolls and stay out of the comment section. And I'm like, that, that's not helping. Why do we have comment sections if we are too afraid to say what we want to say because it's going to be feeding trolls or causing problems just by speaking out. And it also leads me to think, I mean, isn't that their goal? Doesn't that kind of make them win? So, I, oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll place things first and then place things first and make other things happen later. Where did they go? I thought I had... Didn't I just... Am I blind? What happened? 
Oh. It looked like something else. Okay. Um, we'll put them over here. My pretty furnaces. Doing furnacey things. I always imagine having a crafting table next to furnaces would be the absolute worst idea ever, but it works in Minecraft. But how does that, like, I'd be burning my legs and burning my crafting table up. I mean, I'm standing on a torch, so I'm already burning my ass, but whatever. Whatever. But yeah, so I don't stay out of the comments section, and I don't worry about um, about trolls. And I do talk about and make comments on things I think are important. Why am I wasting iron on that? You never use up a hoe. So, um, just generally considered bad practice, I think it's ridiculous to have those stipulations on people and to almost like if someone is rude to you because because you made a comment on YouTube they kind of have this well you you asked for it kind of mentality you should have known better than to feed the trolls I'm like no no we really should expect people to be mature enough to be able to handle opinions. There, now I have endless water. So apparently a new thing is that your ground just reverts. That's fine. Maybe they're trying to make it so that uh, hoes are useful. Ooh. You know what I should do? I should do this. Do do do. This is something I never really did before in Minecraft. Was really take advantage of what Minecraft allows you to do, as opposed to the real world. Real world. I always seemed to think that. that Minecraft's unrealistic physics was a burden instead of a artistic advantage. I don't know how that's gonna, if it's gonna light things up very well, but I mean, I can figure that out at night. Anyway, so, you know, I got into the comments section of, um, you know, some, some YouTube channels and actually um, talking with some of my friends and you know you would kind of expect your friends are not gonna necessarily be trolls but um, I have a lot of friends that are not very supportive of the things I'm currently um, being an activist in that was not enough wood. I don't know what made me think that was going to be enough wood. Oh yeah. Bucket stack. Huh. I'm gonna put things up here, which I'm I should just throw that away. Uh Aha! Trees! Um, so one of the things I really found interesting and um, didn't really expect was um, honestly people 
being nice. And my explanation of why I believe things actually changing anyone's opinion. I kind of, you know, when, when I, um, when I talk to people about, um, you know, what I believe in and such, I kind of expect a lot of hate to come back. Wow, I have a lot of furnaces. Actually, I want to plant those somewhere. I don't need that right now. don't need that right now. don't really need that right now. So I don't need you. Thank you for volunteering. Um, and, you know, I have gotten hate. Um, I've gotten um, the usual get back to the kitchen and some sexist slurs. But I wasn't expecting people to be like, oh, when you put it like that, it makes sense. I'm like, whoa, whoa. So what you're telling me is all I had to do was explain myself? I don't know why I did that. I don't have enough seeds to... I could find some seeds. I feel like Link. I'm looking for some Deku seeds. I don't know why. Well... Eh, whatever. I kind of want that to be too wide because it's a little annoying just being one wide. Let's go ahead and make it too wide. Um, oh yeah, I put it over here. <laughs> How quickly I forget things. Um... So let me let me give you some examples, um, and I guess to do that, I'm sort of avoiding what I'm an activist and um, just in case someone on Twitch is watching. God, why am I so scared of Twitch? Why? Um, so I, I mean, I am a feminist and. I uh, believe in ending things like um, putting a stop to rape culture and um, that, that people shouldn't be shackled by gender norms and um, stuff like that. But a lot of people, they are really uncomfortable with um with feminism pretty much in general and um i started just sort of picking out one or two comments to see if i could um if it would work if i could just say um feminists aren't trying to take rights away from anyone they're trying to gain rights for those who don't have as many things like yes rape culture is real it's a thing this is why it's a problem um stuff like that and um i went about it a couple of different ways so one of my friends posted um, some slut shaming and I wasn't really so much being an activist like consciously when I um, remarked on his post I um, was really more remarking on him and what I, I said was wow this does not seem like you. I didn't really expect to hear something like this from you. And I wasn't really thinking about how offensive that actually is. 
because that was really judgmental. And, you know, his response was um, calling me a feminazi, which, I'm sorry, no matter how angry you are, just don't resort to calling names. Because that, that doesn't, that doesn't help anything. That doesn't help anyone. And, uh, that actually, the result of that was I was further disappointed by him. I was shocked that, um, he would use a sexist slur on someone that has been his friend for years. And this is a guy that was very, very active um, during the very, um, the most recent um, gay rights movement for um, equal marriage rights. He doesn't live in the same state that I do, but um, the the state I currently live in, um, as a result, did uh, did pass new marriage laws thanks to this movement, and I thought of all my friends that you know he was the most of an actual activist. And I was very shocked to see that um, that didn't cross, you know, lines from who deserved what. Oh, you know what I don't have? Read. All right, adventure time. Actually, you know what I don't have? Read. I need a book to write down my coordinates so I can get back home. Oh well. Here's hoping that I don't get horribly lost. But let's be honest, this is Minecraft. <laughs> horribly lost is about how it goes. Oh look, trees. Another forest, that's that's good to know about. Hey, hey, you buddy friend. I think I do have ink, but I'm gonna get some more just in case. So that was one one time when things went horribly wrong. And I don't regret you know, standing up for uh, for myself and for girls and for the idea that um, girls have just as much right to have sex as boys. But I do kind of regret the way I approached it he felt attacked. He felt um, like I was saying he was a bad person. And I really, I can definitely see that because I really wasn't trying to say he was a bad person. I was trying to say that is a negative thought pattern. That That's... Um, perpetuating something bad. But let's be honest, what I did say was, don't do that, that's bad. It was pretty accusatory. So I then took some sort of different routes. Um, and I think part of it is I thought a lot more on how I was going to approach this with strangers than with my friends. 
Hmm. I wonder if that that's probably not going to grow because of the thing right there. So I should move those in. Do do do. Oh, can't do something there. I guess. Whatever. Who cares? No worries. There we go. It's so pretty. Which means I'm going to make you guys symmetrical. All right. Come to me. Or don't. That's fine. And now I'm going to have to jump on my stuff to get out. Um, you know, so I, I thought a lot harder on how I was going to approach this subject with strangers. And one of the things I... That's going to stop growing there but that's okay it's it's okay let's not worry about it um one of the things that i thought about i should have put the other one so that i could keep it symmetrical ah uh, symmetry three three one two three one two oh and it's not crap. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that wall's just um... okay. Well, that's that. That's fine. That's fine. You know what we're gonna do instead? We're gonna do this instead. Ha. Problem solved. So, what I ended up doing with other people was talking about, it was basically um, assuming, never assuming that someone was trolling. I basically assumed that trolls didn't exist, which, let's be honest, that's ridiculous. Trolls exist, they're out there. But by assuming that everyone was being legitimate, I ended up assuming that they had never been exposed to a different way of thinking, which is fine, that happens. Sometimes people just don't hear about certain things because nobody around them is talking about it. That's a whole idea behind activism. All right, nice little garden. Don't have much to grow other than wheat, but that happened. Um, and from that, I'm the kind of person that um, I would... When I assume somebody just doesn't know something, I don't want to treat them as stupid for asking. So I, I just act like it was completely normal for them not to know something because at some point in everyone's life, you didn't know that you did, there was something you didn't know. And another thing to keep in mind on the internet is you never know what age you're talking to. Everyone assumes that everybody is an adult. And we would like to pretend that, um, that only adults exist so that we don't have to worry about it. It's easier. Am I really? I am really. Look at that tiny ledge. I am crouching on that tiny line. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Uh, it just makes life easier, but it's not a great assumption um, because that that causes um, problems of uh, judging people for. Come on, you ought to know this. As well as. Um, yeah, actually, I like this. I like this a lot. 
Uh, I need to decide if I want to do walls, though. I wasn't actually going to do walls. Da -da -da. I really want to know why cobble is still the only sort of wall and not... You can't use the new stones to make those... the railing things. Okay, well... Oh, I put all the stone up here. Mwah. Um, so I, I definitely assume, I give people a lot of benefit of the doubt. And, um, by approaching conversation that way, yeah, see? So then I can polish it. Now can I make something out of it? No, I can't. Why? It does not give me a happy. Ah, <sighs> piff. Uh, it's going to cause some design questions to go on. I don't want to do design questions right now. So I'm going to do other things. Apparently just go up and down these stairs forever more. Um, so people would say things like, um, why do feminists think they're better than other people? And rather than assuming, um, they're being a troll or they're saying something mean for the sake of saying something mean... I assume that somewhere, some, somehow, someone has said that to that person. And most people would just write it off and be like, you know, what a jerk, you don't know what you're talking about. And, and take it really personally, etc. But what I tried was talking to the person saying you know maybe that has come off from the fact that um, women have been pushing mostly for female problems but on this new movement we actually care a lot about the problems that men face as well particularly I do because my Activism happens a lot in gaming where um, there are some really negative depictions of gender in gaming. Oops, I still have these chests. Um, really negative depictions of gender in gaming, and that affects men in that uh, men are often depicted as cannon fodder and um, just constantly dispensable and um, there's also some really negative depictions of women in gaming as well so feminists are taking into consideration that um, all of these things need to change and that seems to appease people a little bit People seem to be a lot more, whoop, a lot more okay. And even if they were trolling, the, the I guess the people who do troll, when you reply to them with actual calmness like that, they go, oh, well, I'm not getting this person. And they move to an easier target. I don't know why I'm going for that. Oh, hey! I clearly have not been down this way. Do do do. That was only eight. That's okay. So, 
another thing that I noticed was how how thin of a line this is between um, where, where the line between respect and disrespect is. And I don't think it's really that I'm being disrespectful sometimes. I think it's that people are pretty sensitive about this subject. So you kind of have to be more careful than you otherwise would be. And um, what I noticed was that line seems... Oh, okay. Well, I fell down. I didn't hurt myself. But I kind of was not expecting that. Eh? No, go away. Okay. Um, so, like for example, um, someone made a comment of, this person's a feminist. And I put that inflection in there because I assume that was, like, otherwise his comment was really capped and obvious. I assume he was saying, this person is a feminist, and I think that is bad. So I kind of replied to it in... Um, originally in the manner of... You say that like it's a bad thing. In the, I think that's a good thing. I think people, um, you know, are, should be feminists. Even guys. Because feminism is about equality. Not about men being better than women or women being better than men. And uh, that, that didn't work. That just hurt people's feelings. And I'm wondering if I had handled that more in the Captain Obvious way, <laughs> if the humor of it might have helped. And that same day, I, I almost feel like I was like doing social experiments on these people because I was just also experimenting with, if I said this, is that going to make people angry? If I say that, will people respond better? So at least my goal was getting a good response rather than a bad one. I better uh, make some more torches or I'm going to get lost down here. So, um, the next person, in uh, another thing that I, I do support the word feminism, um, that can be a talk for another day why I, I feel like it's okay to use that word, that it's not a bad word. Um, So somebody was sort of making an implication that feminism is a, a bad word um, by stating, and I, I'm not going to be able to quote it perfectly, but something along the line of, um, why do you have to call it feminism? Uh, why can't it just be guys don't be dicks to girls, girls don't be dicks to guys? In fact, can nobody be a dick to anybody? And I replied to that with, because feminist is less syllables. And I was just sort of commenting for the sake of... It was funny. But the other guy thought it was hilarious too. And he replied back with, you know what, I like the way you think. I'm going to get so lost down here. I don't know if I have any use for redstone. I haven't really... I... With this place, I don't really need a mine. Ooh, 
that I lava? This is actually super dangerous. I shouldn't be... Kids, don't try this at home. Um, but definitely um, approaching it... And not, it doesn't have to be with humor, but approaching it in the manner of assuming... Just take out all the anger out of the other person's argument and respond to what they're saying. Even if pretty much all they're saying is, you know, rah, 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 I'm angry and I don't have a good reason. There is something to reply to that could get that person thinking. I don't know why I'm using my diamond pickaxe to dig up all these resources that I don't need. But it's basically to avoid the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing with my house. And I'm going to need resources. I don't need emeralds because I... I haven't seen a village in over a year of playing this game. I don't know where they went. If I'm just unlucky or if something happened to villages. But I have no idea what else emerald would be for. Hi. Ow. <laughs> and that's not going to work for later use. Oh! Oh, God! sound like when I'm actually startled. <laughs> that got me good. That got me really good. Oh, what the shit was I talking about? Oh. Um. Oh, wait. I think... Is this the way out? Or am I going deeper? Okay. Whew. Well then. That was fun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right. But uh responding to some comments with um Where I, I clearly do not take offense to what they are trying to offend me with. It seems to help. Um, for example, one person said um, that I clearly am not intelligent, that I don't, you know, that all I do is um, let blog posts influence me and uh, I should try actually reading a book for once in my life um, because if I did I would know that feminism isn't the way um, what I actually responded to that was um, oh well and he went on to make some you know humanist arguments and what I responded to that is um, Humanism is a great movement. Uh, feminists are fighting for a lot of the same things. We're a little more specific in it in this way and that way. Uh, if you would like a good book on it, and then recommended um, one of my favorite um, books on... It's not actually so much on feminism, but on... Um, some of the problems that are epidemic. Um, and, you know, pretty much speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 
Just pretending that looks nice. Oh. Heh. <laughs> that might help. Um. And he responded back to that comment. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm assuming it was a he. Um, the, the other YouTuber responded back to that comment, basically saying, I don't like feminism because feminists have been mean to me. I mean, that is so much more telling and so much more honest and didn't have any sort of air of anger, but had more of an air of, why would I support someone who acts like I'm stupid? And I agree totally. Why would you? Why should you? You shouldn't. Those are the people you ignore. Those are the people you don't want in your life. Which means, fellow feminists, those are the people we cannot be. We, we have to take this a little Martin Luther King here. We have to fight hate with love. Otherwise, this just, this is not going to work. I promise you. And I think that's partially um, why um, I'm really happy about Emma Watson's um, address to the UN. Um, because that, that's basically what she wanted to tell people was... Um, we need to invite men into this conversation and make them feel welcome in this conversation. Look at, um, at other movements. Like even the most recent um, movement for, um, for marriage rights. There was a lot of supporters who weren't going to benefit from laws being changed. They already had their rights. But the fact that they still were supporting helped. I don't know how much it helped. Um, or maybe there's some statistics on it. Maybe there's some research on it, but it had to have helped. Those are the kind of people we need to be. That's the kind of person I want to be. And it's really nice that it seems to be working. Well, anyway, that's more than the time that I had for dedicating to uh, making a video. I know it's sort of a short stream, but uh, I'm sure I'll be around. I'm sure I'll be back because I have a whole house to build. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, no idea what I'm doing. But for now... Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.